Gene Therapies, innovative treatments that transform lives. Around the world, medical and technological innovations are revolutionising how some diseases are treated, saving, extending and improving the lives of patients who until recently had few or no treatment options. Advances in biologic therapies such as recombinant proteins, monoclonal antibodies and immunotherapies are increasingly allowing doctors to personalise treatment according to genetic factors. This trend is being fuelled by our growing understanding of the genetic basis of many diseases, together with advances in bioengineering and computational science. Groundbreaking therapies are becoming part of clinical practice. However, because they're so transformative, to realise their full potential, health systems will need to adapt and adopt new approaches to providing patients with access. Gene therapy is one of the most important medical revolutions in the world today. Pioneering gene therapies offer the potential to durably change the course of many severe and debilitating genetic diseases, transforming the lives of thousands of patients who may otherwise have little or no hope of treatment and improving their quality of life. Gene therapy represents a radical shift in treatment. Rather than treating symptoms, Gene therapy can correct the underlying cause of disease in order to treat it or even cure it. It marks the beginning of a new era in the battle against genetic diseases. How do gene therapies work? The example of haemophilia. Gene therapy aims to treat or cure disease by modifying a person's genes. It involves transferring a therapeutic or working gene into specific cells of an individual in order to repair a mutated faulty gene. A new working gene may be added or used to replace the mutated gene. Alternatively, the mutated gene may be inactivated or deleted. The term gene editing is also used to describe techniques where DNA is inserted, deleted, modified or replaced in a person's genes. Functional genes are delivered either directly into the cells in the patient's body, this is called in vivo gene therapy, or into cells that have been extracted from the patient, this is called ex vivo gene therapy. The genes are introduced into the patient's cells using a virus that has been specifically engineered for this purpose. Known as vectors, these viruses have been modified so as not to cause disease. Let's take the example of haemophilia, a rare and inherited bleeding disorder that affects about 1 in 5,000 people in Haemophilia A and 1 in 30,000 people in Haemophilia B worldwide. In this disease, a single genetic mutation causes patients to lack sufficient levels of a protein, respectively called coagulation factor 8 or 9. Produced primarily by the liver, factors 8 and 9 help blood to clot Lacking factor 8 or 9, people living with haemophilia are vulnerable to internal bleeding into their muscles, organs and joints. This can cause various complications. For example, bleeding into the joints can cause acute and chronic pain and disability. The standard care for people living with haemophilia involves regular injections of factor replacement therapy to reduce the risk of bleeds. Gene therapy for haemophilia places functional factor 8 or 9 genes in the patient's liver cells, allowing them to generate their own factors to protect themselves against bleeds. As a result, gene therapy in haemophilia has the potential to prevent the need for regular, lifelong factor 9 infusions and to improve patients' quality of life. For over 100 years, CSL Bering has delivered innovative treatments to help save and improve the lives of patients with serious and life-threatening rare diseases. Building on our heritage, CSL Bering is now embracing innovation in gene therapy to bring the next wave of breakthrough medicines to people living with rare haematological disorders.